Welcome back to my channel. I'm in the gym. Look around. This is the gym. Please do not leave nasty comments about me not using the equipment correctly. Blah, 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 blah. That's the wrong exercise. I have to do modified exercises. These are exercises that I have been given by my physical therapist throughout the last few years on what I need to do for me. And you know, I have that torn rotator cuff, my subscapulara and my supraspinatus both have tears. And I have to do things where I keep my elbows in nice and tight. So we're gonna do three sets of 10 here. And never bang the equipment, girls. Like I said, no nasty comments, like she doesn't know what she's doing. Do you know how many times I've been in the gym? Do you know how many times I've spotted some hot guy? Please. I would like to introduce Maria. Come on in, Maria. This Hello. is my friend, and uh, she helps me from time to time, especially in the gym. Where are the hot guys? Why do I have Maria? Because I'm hot too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. We are gonna go over to this next machine, which I like. I shouldn't do the left arm. I don't do the left arm. I don't want to aggravate the injury from my little drop in Pittsburgh. Uh, I need to get this right arm stronger. It takes me longer to do everything than anybody else does. And that's what people don't understand. It takes a really long time. So this is a little hard because I'm off balance because I'm not holding the other weight in my arm so I can throw you off. So Maria, if you can hand me that, what I want to do is keep it in, keep it tight to my body so that I'm balanced because I can fall right off of this seat. Anybody else would put this down while they waited for their time. But Wow, I can just resist right here. It's keeping me balanced and working on my core while I'm waiting. Uh, I just want to get up and do my jazz warm up. If I can just stand in front of the class and do my isolation exercises, it would be like I can't even tilt my head anymore that way. Ugh. And a big head roll, a big head roll. Woo! Now I'm a little dizzy. Here we go. That keeps you breathing. Yes, and kids always get headaches when they do acrobatics, and I try to get them to count because if your mouth is open and you're counting, then you're breathing in and out without the big in through your nose, out through your mouth, all those big thrusts. Most people would use this as the ramp to get to the other side of the gym. I am using it as an exercise. This is a little scary because I, you know, hurt my leg. I broke it in two places, shattered it. I want to get on a plane again by myself and I want to travel alone. Not that I want to travel alone, but I don't want to have to take someone with me to fly. So I'm doing sidestep but I'm getting a little far away from my chair. So I get a little nervous. All right, so now I'm gonna go back. And this is a ramp, so it's inclined slightly. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really trusting my legs. I'm using my arms. And that's why my shoulder gets so sore. So I need to learn to trust my legs. But when you can't feel the floor, like you don't feel your feet. So you don't know when your feet hit the floor. You just have to guess. Yay me! I'm like a little kid that takes a few steps and then claps for themselves. That's how I feel sometimes, like those babies on the reels. This is not like a soccer ball or a basketball. This is a heavy. Oh, this left shoulder, like I need any more problems. And it's getting worse. Like every month it gets a little bit worse. I don't usually do things like this. I'm just showing you what I do in the gym, so.
So let's see if, you know, it's like the bowling alley where you get the gutter ball and it returns. Boom. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Straighten. Like straighten. Yes. Yes. See, I do it and it's right. And instead of quitting while I'm ahead, I just have to always do one more. Here we go. We got this. We got this. Roll. Pop. It's too heavy when it hits my feet. It's just pushing my feet down. Yes. This is when you know I've been in a gym before. And then I used to have to do stuff like this. Like your fingers and let it go out and then right at the edge, bring it back in for your wrists and your hands to get stronger. There's like so many exercises, gazillion. But I need these bicep curls right here. Okay. And then your wrists, there's all kinds of stuff. And then figure eights. See, my elbow's tight. Oh, this hurts so bad. See, I should hold this arm like this, but I can't because of that shoulder, so. And that, girls, comes from going to the gym with the guys. Yes. Everybody always asks me, are you gonna walk again? Are you ever gonna walk again? Is this chair permanent? I do walk. I'll show you right now. With a walker, I do releves. Now, my feet are in a really bad ballet first. And hold, balancing. Holding here is like the toughest thing because you can't have your calves against the chair for balance. That would be cheating. So what I'm doing is I'm squeezing my derriere as tight as I can to stand and my lower back where the cancer was. I will never, ever, ever hook a bra again because this arm can't go back. It's about as far as it can go right there. It kills. All right, here we go. Let's walk. You strike with the heel and ball and heel and ball and heel and ball and heel and ball and backwards we do dig heel dig heel you feel the chair with the back of your legs just like in an interview when i teach girls how to interview you don't look for the chair behind you you feel the chair with the back of your legs and then you sit without your hands touching the chair so to answer the question will i ever walk again I just walked, I sidestepped, I marched, I did a shim sham from tap class. Yes, I will walk again. I don't know about without a walker, but hey, I'm trying. And I want you to try. You be the best that you can be this week. Whatever you're working on, work on it more. Try more times, all right? And I'll do the same. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below what you thought of this video. Like, turn on your post notifications, then go get mom and dad's phone and uh, follow me there.